And there's a lot of good stuff going on today. Chanda, what are you most excited about? I mean, we've seen the American women getting it done over the years with Venus and Serena in finals. We saw Sloan and Maddie um, in a U.S. Open final. But now we've got the men getting it done, Steve. And we've got, for the first time at a Grand Slam, two American men of color into the quarterfinals. They've got an opportunity. One of them will make the semis, potentially, an American man into the final only little hiccup could come because Novak Djokovic is in that oh, half him. of the draw. Oh, However, Taylor Fritz will take care of that, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> there's, some, there's some good opportunity and, you know, a lot at stake here. All right, here are the updated odds to win the U.S. Open on the men's side. Paul, what do you think of these? They seem about right to me. Look, I, I just think it's a challenge. I'm a little surprised Rublev is... Uh, at plus 4,200, I, I think he's a little more dangerous than that. Obviously, tough matchup with Medvedev because they've had some battles in the past. But look, when it gets to this stage in the tournament, for me, it's just about who manages the moment. Sure, the level is really important, but I believe all things being equal or close to equal, within 10, 15 percent, whoever manages the moment and leads with the mind best and can think through the pressure, they're going to hold the trophy at the end. Right. Th those odds not dissimilar to what you've gotten at the beginning of the tournament. Uh, a lot of chalk on the men's side. Obviously, Djokovic and Alcaraz has the two favorites. Betty Shelton was last of the eight. And you say, wait a second, this guy is 149 mile an hour serves. He's been such a revelation. And then you say, oh, yeah, but he's the lowest ranked of those eight. Kind of stands to reason. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of top players still left on the men's side. Yeah, yeah. And, and as you had mentioned earlier, Paul, I mean, only one unseated player. We, we did, you know, the the match predictor game. Yep. Paul said there's going to be one unseated man. There you go. That makes mm -hmm. it. Paul knows what he's talking about. I don't know. I just went with the odds. There's 32 seeds, so you got to figure there's not going to be a lot of uh, unseated players in the quarter. So, yeah. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually, I calculated that. I went through it. <laughs> and I just went the algorithm you built. No, he knew it. It's interesting when you look at that list, though, the odds now for the men. Zverev pushing himself maybe a little bit higher with that win last night mm. with the way he was able to come through out last center. I mean, he's got a number of people now taking a little more notice of, of what his chances are. Uh, two of those guys on the men's side in a photo 10 years ago with one of the women in the final eight. How about this? Oh, Whoa, Rublev, baby. Rublev Medvedev and Ostapenko That's when a they great, played junior. That's a great photo, but you know what I like the best? What? The shirt in yeah. the middle. Huh? That's the, uh, that's that's an old sponsorship she used to have with the <laughs> wine-drinking rat. Remember that? Remember Ratatouille. that, <laughs> this, was, uh, this was in Times Square, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering looking. about the scarf, though. Why does Rats the rat need warm. a scarf? Gotta stay warm in the winter. <laughs> red wine? It's a cold rat drinking red wine. It looks oh. like a happy rat. Right? All, all three of them uh, <laughs> still in the draw, though. Ten, ten years later, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty great. Neat, that's good. Yeah. Great shot. When, when you look back at junior draws, it's kind of cool to see all the players yeah. that are succeeding now. For the most part, they, they were there back in the day, and maybe we weren't paying as close attention, yeah. but they were making deep runs in these yeah, junior majors. Absolutely, especially if you look at you know the semifinals and finals from a number of these junior draws, you will see a lot of the names now that have transitioned and, and you know top players in the pros.